Burt Reynolds was a talented and irascible actor. He was known just as much for his off-screen antics as he was for his legendary and prolific acting career. He was once the top box office performer in the world, but then had a huge downfall, a public divorce, and money issues. He managed to reinvigorate his career in the late 90s, even garnering an Oscar nod for his performance in Boogie Nights. But over the years, Burt had feuds with a variety of folks in Hollywood. So stick around as Facts First presents Celebrities Who Had Big Fights with Burt Reynolds. Marlon Brando Let's face it, if people tell you enough that there's someone who looks and acts like you, it's going to start getting annoying, and apparently that was the case for Marlon Brando. When Burt was first coming up and making waves in Hollywood, people began making comparisons of him to Brando. There were those who thought there was a striking physical resemblance, and others who found it more of an essence thing, and others who found their acting style similar. Regardless, Brando reportedly got sick of being told there's a young hotshot actor who people think is a young you, and he began to hold a grudge against Reynolds. According to Burt, he got some early roles because of his likeness to Brando, so he didn't mind the comparisons, but eventually he decided he couldn't coast off of their similarity. He grew out his mustache specifically to set himself apart physically from Brando, but this didn't make Brando any happier. Apparently, when the two met, Brando flat out accused Reynolds of trying to get ahead in Hollywood by virtue of looking like Brando. Reynolds at first just joked with him, assuming he couldn't be serious. But Brando didn't relent. Burt told him he wasn't going to change the way he looked by having surgery or something just because of their resemblance. In later years, Burt was asked again about the early feud with Brando. He pointed out he never tried to act like him, and the physical resemblance was something he had no control over. He did admit to doing a pretty good Brando impersonation, but that was just something he did in private. He added that Rita Moreno was a good friend of his, and there was a time when she was dating Brando. Rita told him that Brando was always quite curious about Burt and would always ask her about him. According to Reynolds, he was hopeful that when Brando was cast as Vito Corleone in The Godfather, their physical resemblance would mean he'd be cast as one of the Corleone's sons. But he remains convinced that Brando put a stop to it. Paul Thomas Anderson Paul Thomas Anderson is a brilliant writer and director who has put out some of the great movies in the last couple of decades, and his film Boogie Nights is credited with reviving Burt Reynolds' long dormant career in 1997. So you might think he and Burt got along incredibly well. Not so much. It started when P.T. was trying to woo Reynolds to play the part of porn producer Jack Horner. Reynolds was hesitant to sign on to a movie that revolved around the porn industry, but Anderson was persistent. He knew Reynolds was perfect for the part, but one of his tactics backfired a bit when he responded to Reynolds' hesitance by making what Reynolds later called a smartass remark. In the moment, Reynolds had had enough, and he blew up at Anderson. But Anderson cleverly used that moment to his advantage. He waited for Burt to finish yelling at him, and then told him if he could replicate that passion in the movie, he'd be nominated for an Oscar. And that was enough to convince Burt to do the movie. But it wasn't smooth sailing from there. The two reportedly clashed a lot on set, even nearly getting into a physical fight at one point. But Anderson's prediction came true. Reynolds was nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor and won a Golden Globe for the role. For his part, Anderson later labeled the shoot as a lot of fun and said that any tension between him and Burt only made for a better end product. Mel Brooks Mel Brooks might seem like an unlikely person to be in a feud with, but apparently he and Burt got into a bit of a verbal kerfuffle after making the movie Silent Movie. While the two successfully worked together for that film, Reynolds later claimed that Brooks could sometimes act cruelly. When the two would disagree about things on set, Brooks would reportedly remind Reynolds that he was a drummer, and according to Brooks, drummers shouldn't be messed with. Reynolds would respond that he had beaten up his fair share of drummers over the years. So clearly there was a little bit of machismo and power dynamic issues that the two were dealing with. It continued after the movie, when Burt suggested he make a movie with Brooks' wife, the talented Anne Bancroft. Brooks agreed that they should, but added that while Burt would bring people to the theater, Anne would keep them there. The implication being that Burt was just a marquee star with limited acting chops, while Bancroft wasn't as famous but a more compelling actor. Burt later admitted to being hurt by that offhand comment. Though it should be noted that any animosity that lasted over the years seems to have been one directional, because in 1976, Brooks talked to critic Roger Ebert about his time filming with Burt and said they had had a lot of fun. Gore Vidal Gore Vidal was an intellectual and author who on one occasion got the best of Burt Reynolds by messing with his mind. It happened on an evening when Vidal was hosting a party at his home. Reynolds attended, having been invited by actress Joanne Woodward. Woodward was, at that point, already married to Paul Newman, but Newman wasn't available that night, so Woodward had Reynolds accompany her. 
According to Reynolds, Gore got steadily more drunk throughout the night and, along with that, got increasingly meaner. Reynolds didn't know why at first, but Vidal kept suddenly insulting him. According to Burt, Vidal was making comments about how Reynolds should be a truck driver since he wasn't a real actor like Paul Newman. To cool off, Reynolds went into Vidal's kitchen, but apparently Vidal's partner, Howard Austin, then joined him and tried to hit on him. Reynolds didn't react well to this and threw Austin back into the living room before leaving the party. It was only years later that Reynolds realized what was really happening. Vidal was close with Woodward and Newman and wanted to make sure Burt wasn't making a pass at Woodward. So he and Austin were taunting and provoking Burt so they'd get a rise out of him. That way, in case he was indeed trying to steal her, he'd come across as crass and unsophisticated in front of Joanne. Lonnie Anderson To say Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson had a feud is putting it lightly. Theirs was of the classic romantic split variety. And it was a fairly epic one. It was actually considered one of the most contentious divorces in the history of Hollywood. And naturally, that meant it was constantly splashed across the front of tabloids and other news sources. According to Burt, a huge part of their issues spawned from her inability to spend money at a reasonable level. He said Lonnie refused to wear any item of once she had been seen in it one time. He also said he gave her a credit card that had a limit of $45,000, but she had already maxed it out in 30 minutes. This crazy spending became a huge problem for Reynolds. It was the beginning of a long period where he lost a ton of his fortune. He admitted later he didn't even remember proposing to Anderson. He only remembered she was pressuring him into marrying her, and that even at the time, he knew deep down he wasn't actually in love with her, and marrying her was a mistake. And as it turned out, it was quite the costly mistake. Mark Summers when you think of TV host Mark Summers, you probably think of good-natured entertainment for kids, like when he hosted the long-running Nickelodeon show Double Dare. So it might be surprising he'd be a feud with anyone, let alone Burt Reynolds. But the two butted heads when they both appeared as guests on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. In a 1994 episode, Summers was the second guest coming on right after Burt, who was still on the next couch over. As Summers talked to Leno, Burt started chiming in. And from the get-go, he was antagonistic, pointing out that Summers was facing more towards Leno and showing Bert his back. But considering Summers was talking to Leno, that was an odd thing to be annoyed about. He then responded to Summers' claim of being a neat freak by asking who called him that. Summers said it was his wife, and then heightened the tension by remarking that he was still married. This was a jab at Reynolds, who had recently been through a public divorce. Reynolds didn't take kindly to the jab and proceeded to pour water on Summers. From there, things escalated. Summers eventually poured water back on Bert, who made a remark about Summers' wife as well. As the segment progresses, it seems clear the two are joking to some extent, but there are serious undertones to the interaction. Things are made more goofy, and some of the unease is lessened when the producers brought out pies for the two to smash into each other's faces. They proceeded to cover each other with pie filling and eventually do hug it out. So maybe this was the quickest beef of Reynolds' career. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these feuds was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.